Hello and welcome back to Beer Babies, the podcast journey where we try to find the best beer money you can buy. I'm your host and my name's Will and I like some beers and joining me back on the podcast is someone who likes a lot of beers. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I was For some reason, I thought you, you're looking at Declan and then talking about me. Hi, I'm Billy. I like a lot of beers. And I guess I'm Declan and I don't like beer. Yeah, I was I was going to um, jump to you, Declan, but uh, I wanted to let Billy know that he is absolutely smashing the mic right now. Yeah. Maybe, maybe move it down a touch is it too it's so loud is that better too quiet just up a touch just a <laughs> tiny bit are we keeping this in or i hope not i hope not all right okay. we're good to go yes we are good to go and i have brought something that i think is really going to get us up and going um i i spotted this um when i was down in hobart i went to like a real fancy bottle shop down there when and i thought hobart? uh like i don't know before christmas <laughs> oh, what's, okay. your, what's your description of a fancy bottle though uh, they've got lots of weird and wonderful things. Um, and I brought one of those weird and wonderful things for us to try. And that is called the Tiny Rebels, is the brewing company. And they've got the Pump Up the Jam. And so that is a jam donut pale ale. I was wondering where you got that from. Like, I was very like, where? where yeah. yeah. So You've actually got Declan's attention. This I think, is good. I think um, the, the bottle shop is actually called Cool Wines. So... I guess that does make it pretty cool. So, Deck, do you want to um, pour out some of this um, while I'll tell everybody a little bit about the beer? I don't have heaps of information on it because their um, website wasn't overly ex- extensive on this beer. But what I did find is that they make lots of really wild and interesting stuff. It's really cold too. <laughs> Little Rebels um, are based in the UK. Um, and so this beer we're having today is a Jam Donut Pale Ale which um, sounds insane to me, Um, but I'm really excited to give it a go. Um, So for the people listening at home, Bill, and not watching, could you describe the can to them? I don't even have the can, bruh. But from over here, it looks like a very bright and vibrant can. Like it's a pink, like an off pink kind of color. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's got a little bit of, it's got a, a just a little bit of jam donut and pump up the jam. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Pretty cool. Doesn't look like a beer. Mm. Um, it doesn't is... smell like a beer either. Yeah, and it. I've just had a little taste. It's 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 way more mild than I thought it was going to be. So it's not like intensely beer flavored, and it's also not intensely donutty flavored. <laughs> I so... know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, it's just... a, I'm very confused. Mm. It's neither. It's just. I kind of want to go either one or the other, don't you? Like, mm. you're, instead of just nothing. You're yeah. thinking they tried too much. They should have gone for jam or donut. Yeah, oh, mm. or beer. Or beer. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, true. Because <laughs> it is a beer. So, um, yeah, I, yeah I've, ha- I've had a little taste and it is odd. It's sort of like I'm getting, I don't know, sort of like a, a bready sort of feel. Does that make sense? Yeah, you yeah. do get that. Mm. You do get know. It's weird, because the first time I tried it, I got no beer, then the second sip I took was old beer mm. that time, so... Well, maybe what you should have a th- third sip and see if it's all jam donut. We'll just sit yeah, in maybe, silence. Yeah, maybe we should have shaken the can, because it's all separated. The beer's at the top, and then no, the that jam. that was beer again. <laughs> yeah. I think um, the viewers might not have seen it, but I did have a big swig of V yeah. before I... And maybe the... Because my palate... <laughs> Wasn't ready. So we we always have a drink of um, V before starting a podcast to plan, like to cleanse the palate. So V are not sponsors of beer babies unless they want to be. So feel free to get in touch. I'd love if any of your drink sponsored us. Yeah, we could have like the the fridge or whatever, the glowing fridge right here. Yeah, like Ninja, just in the background. <laughs> we each or we get could our have fridges. beer babies fridge. Now we're talking. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Anyway, so um, this is this is so fun and exciting, and I'm and what I was thinking was. Um, this is so cool and extravagant, but not everyone at home can go down to Hobart to the Cool Wines Bottle Shop and get their own um, jam donut pale ale. So what I thought I'd do um, is I'd make my own. And so right now we're going to cut to a clip of me making a jam donut pale ale, um, and then we'll jump right back. Now, folks, I know we're halfway through the episode, but I know at home you'll be thinking, I wish I could get my hands on a jam IPA. Well, have I got news for you. Tiny Rebel have made a fantastic beer, but that got me thinking, what about all you people stuck at home that can't get down to a fancy bottle shop? Well, 
have I got news for you. So I thought, why not show you guys how to make your own jam donut IPA with easy to find ingredients from around your home. First, we get some jam donuts. Then we pour a healthy dash of IPA. I've gone for the Cricketer's Arms, but you can use whatever you have lying around the fridge. I'm just gonna start by chucking in a couple of these little jam donuts. I'm gonna blitz them up. So that was as effective as I imagined it would be. Perfect. Now I'm just going to add a drop of our pale ale if I can get it open. I don't know how to use this bottle opener. <laughs> there. We go. Now we're talking. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just just a dash. Now we just want to blitz this until we've got ourselves a nice sort of like soupy concoction. Now this looks good. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? You know what? I think I'll wait and try it on the episode. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. That is how you make your own jam donut pale ale. And now I know you guys sitting here haven't seen the um, amazing work I've just put in, but you're going to get. No, that was, to... You did it right then and there. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We left the studio, went and filmed it, and came back. Um, imagine if this was a studio. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Um, I wish. Yeah. Um, so, but you guys are going to get to taste. The first ever Beer Babies Jam Donut Pale Ale. Wow, it looks exciting. Oh, God. So, um, here we go. Uh, Declan, can you pass me um, I'm scared. I'm actually okay, I think. No, you, we got to try it on the pod. What? What is it? Yeah, because we actually haven't seen it. I know it. you have a home brew. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dec, pass me another glass. Is it just a beer and a jam donut in a... I can't <laughs> drink that. <laughs> you got to drink it. Come on. <laughs> Why is it chunky? Well, because it's a beer, it's beer so the and thing a jam donut in a blender, is it? Everybody at home has just watched this, but for you guys, oh. I'll give you a little recap. So I took some jam donuts, I took some uh, Cricketer's Arms Pale Ale, and we blended it together, and that's how you get the Beer Babies Jam Donut Pale Ale. I, so, I asked to see the video before, and you said no, and this is why you didn't show us before so coming to the show. Dick, have a taste. What do you think? It's better than that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Declan, tell us tell us about the flavor profile while me and Billy. Have I'm a getting a lot of donut sediment. and not much beer. Oh, that, um, yeah, I can. <laughs> you, it's definitely um a a lot. The flavor of the um, oh, the donut is definitely coming through, but um, the the wet sort of uh dough. Just, just, like, like, it's should have made, it, made it a bit fresher. Uh, a bit fresher. I I made it like just before we came in here. Um, You've done a great job. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so there. It's as simple as that. So you guys at home, if you want, if you want your own jam donut pale ale, then just follow that simple recipe I shared for all. I of was you. not not gonna lie. I know that you got a homebrew kit for <laughs> your birthday last year, and I'm just like, oh. He made it like his actual own beer. No, he no. just he blended a beer and a donut. <laughs> so, uh, as a little palate cleanser, I thought I'd grab a jam donut. So, um, I think that uh, that my experiment probably wasn't as successful as I would have hoped. It was not the um, the nicest drink we've ever had, but it could be the quality of the jam donut potentially is what I'm thinking. I think that's it. Yeah, maybe you need to need to make your own jam donut, something nice mm. and fresh. That's it. 
I think that's the only thing it was missing. Just a little mm. bit more freshness, and I think you're onto a If winner. I want an alcoholic jam donut, I just ask for the shot. Mm. Pay, yeah. 50, pay so fifteen dollars for once, a little once, shot. Once I'd um finished making it, I did that. Did come to mind? <laughs> I could have just made um, jam donut shots. jam donut shots. But anyway, hey, we live and learn. Um, so here at Beer Babies, we have our um, very special rating system, which is the six pack test. So. What I want to ask you guys, if you had a six-pack of my homemade um, uh, oh, okay. jam donut okay. payway oils, how many do you think you'd be able to drink? Billy, why don't you go first? Uh, not, I'm sorry, not one. I could I could probably have a sip, like I just did. What about you, Jack? Six. No. Nah, um, <laughs> uh, I'd really... I'd try, because I wouldn't want that donut to go to waste. Yeah. I, I'm going give, to give it half. Yeah. I would yeah. chuck it in the dehydrator, turn it back into a donut, mm. and then I'd eat one. And alco- do you reckon you could make an alcoholic donut, Declan? As the baker, could you make sort of like you know how you because you can do like yeah, jelly could- shots? Could you sort of like set a jelly in the middle of a donut, which is alcoholic? Yeah, true. Actually, maybe. Um, yeah, if it was in the center, not like mm, yeah. because of the alcohol would cook out if you cooked it. But you could, probably could do a jelly donut, jam donut. Mm-hmm. Don't don't you guys steal that one? I think Declan's going to try and whip that up for us one day. We're going to have to bleep all that out so <laughs> yeah, people exactly. don't steal your I'll idea. Cut that section. Uh, yeah, and I don't think I'd drink any. I think it was uh, it was a fun experiment, but um, you know that's why we do these tests. You know, we test to see sort of what we can create. Um, but back to the actual beer we've tried, um, Billy. What did, I didn't actually get your opinion of it. What do you think of the um, Little Rebels um, Jam Donut Pay Whale? Yeah, it's. It's kind of like an off sweet kind of. It's like it's like they've mixed like a like a sweet almost like a soft drink with a mm. bit of beer, and I'm, that's all I'm getting. It's like a, you know, when you get a shandy kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you cut Boy, some coke with some beer. Do I know a shandy? Like it's that, but not as sweet and a little bit more tart. So, but that's my opinion. Out of six, I'll probably rate this. I'd give it a one. It's mm. just I do not like sweet things Whoa. very much. Okay. Yeah, that's probably my lowest you. rating. Yeah. So what about you, Dan? I'm gonna go one as well. Okay. Any any uh, elaboration on that or? Sorry, I was just about to burp in the mic. Um, I don't know. Like it, it's just a pale ale, really. But does it surely it gets points for like creativity? I oh, know. I was very. I was like, ooh, I was very excited. But then it was. It pretty much just tastes like a pale ale to me. Yeah. So, um, for me, I think it. I feel like it's more subtly sweet than I expected. I think maybe in my head looking at it, I thought it was going to be like more like a sour, you know, that have those super sweet, strong flavors. Mm. And maybe that'd do better if you just sort of could somehow make a sour, I don't know, a bit breadier like this. And that'd probably actually taste closer to a jam donut. Does that... Yeah. Um, it would be more pleasing. Yeah. Mm. Mixing a sour um, with the jam donut. But yeah, again, um, not a huge fan of this one. So I reckon I'd probably give it... Oh, I'm going to say... Two, maybe a, a two out of six. Yeah, it's not it's not my favorite, but I think um, as far as it's it's easy to drink. Like it's not it's not offensive. It's just not that nice. It so. is a gimmicky beer, though. It is yeah, gimmicky. Definitely. It would be like a good gift idea yeah. for someone, but yeah. it's not something you would sit down and have mm. a session on or anything yeah. like that. It's it's just something you'd pass around one can and be like, t- ch- taste this. It's got a jam donut in it. Mm. Or you're at the, wow at yeah. like the bar and you're like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, a, a stuffing. A stocking stuffer. A sort stuffing of. stocking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, that that just about does it for the pump it up. Oh, sorry, pump up the jam even um, by um, Tiny Rebels. Uh, had a lot of fun reviewing this one. Make sure you um, email us in your favorite beer and um, check out the next video, whichever side the thing's on. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Catch you later. See ya.